objective of this presentation. At the end of this presentation, the learner will be able to define hemodynamics, describe the determinants of hemodynamics like preload, contractility, afterload, and tissue compliance. Hemodynamics describes the relationship between pressure and fluid flowing in a certain space. Factors like blood vessel size, fluid volume, heart muscle tones influence hemodynamics. So let's start with the main determinants of hemodynamics. Preload is also known as the feeling hemodynamic pressure. Preload describes the pressure at a given space when the heart muscle is at rest or diastole. The right ventricular preload determinant is CVP, or the central venous pressure. The left ventricular preload determinant is PAP, or pulmonary artery pressure. However, most clinicians today uses pulmonary artery diastolic pressure as a parameter for left ventricular feeling pressure. Contractility is a hemodynamic determinant that describes the strength of the heart muscles to eject blood. A determinant for myocardial strength is cardiac output. Cardiac output is the one minute average of force during ventricular contraction. Stroke volume, however, refers to the amount of force exerted of the ventricular muscles per contraction. To allow a forward flow of the blood, a determinant in hemodynamics known as afterload describes the pressure that the fluid have to overcome during systole. Afterload determinants are systemic vascular resistance which refers to the vascular tone in the periphery. Pulmonary vascular resistance refers to the vascular tone in the pulmonary area. The total outcome of hemodynamics causes the tissue to utilize oxygen. SVO2 refers to the amount of excess oxygen after cellular metabolism. Opinion. It means if you have less SpO2, you may not have enough blood to circulate your oxygen, or simply may not have enough oxygen. In contrary, high SpO2 may mean sepsis in some patients due to anaerobic metabolism. For questions and comments, please visit us at criticalcarewizard.com.